For decades, the 60-40 stocks-to-bonds structured portfolio has been the gold standard in diversified investing. The theory is that in times of stock market stress, money would rotate into the perceived safety of bonds and that the reflexive appreciation coupled with their yield would cushion the blow of equity volatility. That didn't work at all in 2022, as the S&P was heading to an eventual year-to-date decline of 27% registered on October 13th, the Bloomberg US AGG total bond index was down almost 17% in the same period. The explanation was simple. Bonds were being forced lower by the Federal Reserve in order to fight inflation, and stocks were reacting to the corresponding higher rates. The question going into 2023 to determine the potential return of the profitability of 6040 is, do you believe that the Fed will continue forcing yields higher? If the answer to that is no, that the Fed will soon pause, the pervasive belief is that the traditional diversification will work, particularly if yields stabilize at a higher level, giving investors extra returns, or if rates move lower, making stocks more attractive on a relative basis.